Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How-Tos with Ramona. Today, I'm coming to you with a quick video tutorial on how to create an image using Canva. And then I will show you what to do with the image. So first of all, in case you don't know, Canva is a graphic design app. You can use it on your mobile phone or you can use it on desktop. Today I'm showing you how to use Canva on your Android mobile device. If you have an iPhone, just know that what I'm showing you today will be a little different when you're looking at it on the iPhone. So the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the Canva app downloaded on your phone. So if you're using an Android, of course, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone, you will have to go to your App Store. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to click on Play Store. When your Play Store opens, you're going to click in the search, type in Canva, C-A-N-V-A. The Canva app will be displayed, as you can see at the very top. Um, you know, if you would notice, mine says open because I already have the Canva app on my phone. If you do not have the Canva app, it will say install. So go ahead and install it, follow the on-screen directions, and then meet me back here. I'm going to go ahead right now and click open to open the app. So when you come to the Canva app, by default, it will bring you to the templates screen. So on the template screen, what you will see are various templates that you can use in your designs. Meaning, if you are not a graphic artist, you can actually create your own designs without any graphic artist experience. So the first thing I am going to do is I decide what type of graphic I want to create. And for this video, what I'm going to be creating is a quote. So I will type, and by the way, you can click on any of these templates here if you scroll through and see anything that you like. So these are different categories that they have, posters, logos, presentations, Pinterest pins, YouTube thumbnails, Twitter posts, etc. So you will find on here uh, social media posts, posters, flyers, banners, anything that you can possibly imagine, letters photo collages, business cards, um, and you will see that by clicking on all categories. Um, you can find whatever category you're looking for in here, or again, you can just scroll down, or you can scroll uh, to the left to see, to view all of the different categories that are available to you. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click in the search bar at the very top, and I will type in quote. So, and then I'm going to click search and I will scroll through to find a quote template that I like. And I've already chosen this and tested it just to make sure that it comes out perfectly for this video. So this is one that I chose. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit. So click on edit. And then you will see the quote template exactly as it is. But now I want to change it so that it looks like my quote. So today I'm going to be using a quote that I was actually quoted, um, or I actually spoke this quote while being asked about how I started out doing social media training. So the quote I actually have on my clipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the text where the quote is, and then I will hold my finger down, and then I will click paste. So this is my quote, miracles happen when you stop focusing on your fears and turn your dreams, your vision into reality. 
which is exactly what I did when I started my business. So then I'm going to put here where it has someone else's information. I'm going to type my name because I am the one that said the quote. So I type my name and you see this text up above where my quote is. It says motivational quotes. I'm actually just going to delete that out of there. So what I did was I highlighted it and I hit my backspace button on my mobile phone. So now I'm going to, if you look at the very top where it says text, there is a check mark. I'm going to click on that check mark to let them know that I'm done. So now that is saved. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm not real fond about the color because my brand colors are red, blue, white, and two colors of gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change that color green in a moment. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image where you see the man, just tap on it. And I will click on the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. And you will see uh, various options pop up. So if you want to add text, you click on text. If you want to add an image, you click on image. If you want to add a video, video. So you would just scroll through all these things. If you want to do any of these things, add a sticker, an illustration, a temp, another template, logos, or you can even add a page to this image. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on image. And I have my images saved here. So what I'm going to do is I will tap on the man again because you have to make sure that he's highlighted in order to add your image. And then I'm going to click on the image I choose. So I clicked on my image and you see now that one of my class photos is there. Now, what I don't like about the way this looks is that it's cut off some of the people who I am actually speaking to. So I want to be able to see that group a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on my text and then click where you see the font size. So I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to say I want my font size to be about, it's on 30, 33 right now. I'm going to make it 28. I'm going to click the checkbox to the right of 28. You see the text got smaller. What I want to do is I actually want to move the green box that is on top of my picture, the green overlay. I move it over because I want to see the people more. And then I'm also going to tap on my text again and move that over. And I'm just doing all this with my fingers. So I'm just dragging everything with my fingers on my mobile device. So I drag this over. To me, it still looks like my text could be a little smaller. So I think I'm going to click in my text and make it, oops, sorry, um, make it 24. So 2-4. And then I'm going to click on the check mark again to the right of 24. And you see it got a little smaller. So I am going to drag. You see there's a drag handle to the right of my text where you see into. I'm going to click on that handle. It's a white handle. And I'm going to drag my box in. And then I'm going to click on my text again, and I'm going to move my box over more. So now you see how you can see my audience a little better. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the green overlay box again, and I want to change the color. So I'm going to try out my colors and see which one I like best. Don't like that. That's probably too bright. I'm going to choose the red, I think. Yeah, because that looks a little better. So I will do the red. I'm going to move my text just a hair more. Just so it fits in there a little better. 
And then I also want to change the color of my name. My name is green. So I want to change that color. So just click in the box and you see the green square box under the photo, which is showing you what color is being used. Go ahead and click one time, just tap on it, that green box. And I'm gonna click on the white font color. So that's what color I want it. So I want it to match the other font color, colors that's on there. So I think I like the way this looks. And what I'm going to do now is, oh, um, by the way, if you don't like something that you've done, what you can do is click the undo button right above where you see my text that you see two um, icons above. You'll see a check mark to the left and then to the right of the check mark is the undo button. So if I didn't want that text to be white, I just tap on that undo button and it goes back to green. So, but I really don't want it green. So now you see there's available, there's a redo button. So to the right of the undo button, now you will see redo and I'm going to click on redo. So now my text is white again. And again, I think this looks okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to download this photo onto my phone so that I can upload it to my social media accounts, to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, so I can share it with people that, are, or that I'm connected to there. So do you see in the upper right-hand corner, you see, and a download arrow, it's white. So it's the second one from the right. I'm going to click on the download arrow and it's preparing my design and then it shows different places where I can share it. I can share it actually directly to my social media, but what I like to do is actually to click on my photos and download it there. So you'll get a um, button, it actually says upload by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload my photo to my photos on my phone. And that's that, so it's there now. What I will do now is I will go back to, and you can do this, you can follow along as well, go back to your photos on your phone. Mine, are, mine is on my home screen. So I'm gonna tap photos and I will see it there. But what I, I'm going to do is I can, I can actually share it from there, but what I'm going to do is just so you know, there's a different way to do it as well. If I want to share it on Facebook or LinkedIn, I'll actually do LinkedIn, and I'm going to hit the plus sign for the post on LinkedIn. I'm going to click add a photo, and then, I am going to click on recent photos and I will find my uh, photo, quote photo here. And I just tapped on it and then I can hit the blue arrow in the bottom right hand corner. And then if I want, I can actually post my quote and I'll actually put my name here. If you want, you could say something you know, say something profound or you don't have to just put your name. I'm just doing this for, uh, for as I'm doing this tutorial. So I typed my name. If you want, of course, you can add your hashtags on your post, but I'm just gonna go ahead right now and click post. So I post it. You see LinkedIn actually posted it. So this, that was so quick. You see how easy that is just to create something in Canva and go ahead and post it onto your social media. That did not take me long at all. You can do this. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, as always, there will be uh, information in the description of this video letting you know how you can contact me if you have any questions 
please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell so that you will be able to receive notifications each time that I upload a new video tutorial. Again, I hope that you have a wonderful day and thanks for hanging in there with me. This is Ramona signing off.